Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, September 19th. <laughs> Yesterday I worked on some possums. <laughs> some half possums. I think I got four of them in here. So I made four. There's one. And here's three more half of possums. <laughs> I stopped in the half halfway. Because I got to put the eyes in and then I'm going to glue them in because they have little beady eyes, you know. <laughs> and I don't want them coming out or being pushed in. So um, I'm going to glue them in. I didn't get a chance yesterday, so I'm going to try to do that today. And then finish their little butts up <laughs> and make their tails. Uh, and then that will be five possums that I've made. I made more bees that I'll show you later if I can remember. <laughs> and today I'm going to start, I think, some axolotls for my craft fair coming up. In December so I got plenty of time to work on some little amigurumis I also need to work on um, some Halloween amigurumis for September so I might do that today maybe I don't know <laughs> I got to uh, I think today I'm gonna make tacos for dinner because I usually make tacos every day or every Tuesday um, Jesse has an appointment here in a little bit it's early in the morning <laughs> and Devin's taking him to that and then he's gonna go to work after appointment um so yeah i got i'm not gonna make him do school today because he's his doctor appointment is kind of a invasive one or whatever so uh you know i'm just giving him the day off <laughs> and uh i gotta do some sewing later uh let's see devin's gonna drop off all the orders for me from the last bags uh yeah i already got them packaged up you just gotta drop them off <laughs> And yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to get into today, but I will talk to you later because we did watch a movie so I can rate it later. <laughs> but um, I'm going to hop off here for now and I will hopefully make some clips or something for you to see later and show you some more crochet and stuff. And I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's it for right now. Alright, it's a little bit later. Devin and Jesse are still gone. And I made the axolotl. It's pretty cute. <laughs> but... It took an hour and 20 minutes, which is a long time for one amigurumi for me, I think. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces to sew together. Uh, so this would probably be the only one I'm making. Because <laughs> it wouldn't be time effective and cost effective to make a whole bunch of these. Uh, because there's so much work. So this one I will probably see if Jesse wants it. Um... If he does it, which he probably will, I'll put it in my market, but um, it won't be any anymore. It's too much work, and it's so small, you know. People probably wouldn't want to pay what it would be worth. Um, it's adorable, but 13 pieces in an hour and 20 minutes, you know, that's a lot. I can make other things a lot quicker than that, and it's just um, half of that was probably sewing it all together because <laughs> all these little the legs and arms and the frills and everything was separate pieces. So even though it's a really cute pattern, uh, and I think Jesse will love it, <laughs> I am going to not make any more of these probably. I found this for free on Instagram. If I can remember, I will uh, link it down below. Because it is a cute little picture, or yeah, axolotl. <laughs> but um, just too much time, too much pieces, too much sewing. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to hop on here and do that update real quick. Because I, I got laundry going on, I don't know if you can hear it back there. And I got other things I got to do this morning, so I got to set down my crochet for a little while and go do stuff. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next morning. <laughs> I had every intention to keep making some clips and stuff. Um, and the kids, some for some reason, whatever reason, got the zoomies last night. And we're all over the place and I didn't have a chance to do anything. <laughs> so um, I thought I'd come on here now this morning. I mean, since he's got stuff going, you know, I got the... Dinner going in the crock pot. I was crocheting, but Sissy's being really clingy this morning. So she won't let me do anything <laughs> except that rose hard. And, um, yeah, we were watching some TV, but I've got to get up and start doing some stuff if she'll let me. <laughs> but I wanted to hop on here real quick just to make a clip to add to this video that for tonight or whenever. <laughs> um, about the movie me and Devin watched the other day. We watched, uh, it's not really a Halloween movie, but it's kind of, it's not really a scary movie either, but it's like a, um, I guess an action movie? <laughs> I don't know. But it's called Violet Night. It came out, I think, last year. And we watched it on, I think, Prime. But, um, 
it's got David Harbour in it, which I love David Harbour. He's from Stranger Things and some other, you know, lots of other things. But he's, like, most recently known for Stranger Things. Uh, and also Heather loves him <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but, uh, it was really good. It's a, um, it's really, it's got gory parts in it. Uh, so if you don't like that kind of stuff, don't watch it. But basically the story of it is he's Santa Claus. And he's delivering presents, but he's also, like, kind of... He's, like, drunk Santa, I guess. He's, like, over his job and feeling discouraged and stuff because, like, modern kids want just money and gift cards and video games. And, um, so he he's kind of bummed out, but he goes to this one house. It's, like, really rich people. And he's delivering gifts there. And, um, at the same time that he's delivering gifts there, the family is getting attacked and, like, robbed. So he has to, um protect you know like save them and it's just really good i thought it was a really good movie me and devin both really liked it but it, it does have a lot of gory parts in it and there's some parts that's funny too you know depending on your sense of humor it's funny um and there's a part where it's kind of like home alone but it's like if home alone was real <laughs> it was terrible uh it involved a lot of the home alone um what are they called booby traps but it was what would happen to real people if that was to happen to them, you know. It wouldn't be funny like at Home Alone where they just barely get hurt. <laughs> they actually get killed and stuff. But uh, it was a really good movie. Me and Devin loved it. And uh, viewer just discretion is advised or whatever because it is gory. It's got a lot of gory parts in it. But it was really good. So And then also, on an uh, opposite note, so I get that one 5 out of 5 Jack Lanterns. Me and the kids watched um, on Disney+. Plus the movie oh, bless you. um i just got a text message from their insurance <laughs> anyways um i'm trying to remember what it's called elemental <laughs> it just came out elemental i can't remember what day it came out but we watched it the day it came out i think it was last week sometime tuesday wednesday or thursday <laughs> uh and it was really good i liked it a lot i mean Je me and jesse liked it a lot sissy you know she has no opinions <laughs> but um I thought it was a really good movie. I liked it. I feel like it wasn't um, publicized very much. You know, like I don't remember seeing many commercials and advertisements and stuff for it. And then it, it went to Disney Plus pretty fast, you know. I, I know Disney's been having a little trouble lately with their movies. Like, the storylines and stuff a lot of people don't approve of. But this movie doesn't have any of them unorthodox, I guess you would say. I haven't seen anyone complain about this movie yet, though. But it's basically about this world where there's the elementals. So there's, like, earth people, fire people, water people, and air people. Yeah. Duck. Or frog. Frog? She loves frogs. Um, and, you know, in it, they don't mix their elements. I guess I guess that is kind of a touchy subject. <laughs> but, um, anyways, a fire girl ends up falling in love with a water boy and vice versa. So it's basically about that. Plus... Her becoming like independent from her parents. Um, and it's just really good. They also end up saving a bunch of people's lives. <laughs> so I liked it a lot. And a lot of funny parts in it. And uh, I really liked the water guy. He was just relatable. <laughs> and his family and all that. It's just, it was a really cute movie. I liked it a lot. And I think that's about all we watched lately, like, movie wise. I feel like I started. I can't remember what movie it was. I started a Halloween movie the other day, but we ended up not watching it. We ended up having to leave. I can't remember what movie it was. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that important at the time. But anyways, I got some chicken and stuffing. It's one of my favorite comfort meals. I love that. I make it probably twice a month. Sometimes more. <laughs> In the crock pot. I probably should do laundry. I need to start the dishwasher, but I was waiting to record. And I still need to make my Whip Wednesday video. You might see that before this video, but it will be recorded <laughs> opposite times. Because it's still morning time right now. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about the movies. And the Elemental, I give it 5 out of 5 for Jack Lynch as well. But I will um, edit all these clips together from yesterday and today and put them out tonight. <laughs> and then Whip Wednesday will be some point today. And I've, we got to run to the store when Devin gets home because we need some milk. What else do we got to do, Sissy? Sissy, I don't know. She's a baby. <laughs> but anyways, I guess I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.